Decision 92, election night coverage from News Center 40. Brought to you by Bernie Robbins Jewelers in Summers Point and Epsicon. And by Brody's Fine Furniture, Route 47 in Vineland. Welcome back, everyone. I'm Jeff Whitaker. And I'm John Kasich. Decision 92 election coverage locally here in New Jersey. And as you heard at NBC News at about 5 after 8, NBC News has projected that uh, Bill Clinton is the winner in New Jersey and gets those all-important uh, electoral votes. And uh, Bill Clinton obviously has a big lead across the country right now. And obviously New Jersey played out to be a key state in this uh, whole process of electoral votes. Obviously the 15 votes, they were wooed very heavily by both candidates. George Bush was here nine times during the course of the campaign. Bill Clinton seven times, very heavily during the past couple of weeks, but apparently, according to the early projections, it looks like Bill Clinton will carry those 15 votes home tonight. And the first time New Jersey has gone for yes. uh, a Democrat in a while, uh, spoke with uh, a representative of uh, Congressman Hughes's office, said that exit polls that uh, his office had access to earlier this afternoon at 4 o'clock uh, put Clinton ahead both in North, Jer North Jersey and South Jersey by quite a large margin. That will be interesting to see so far as when the final results come in there because Cape May County, Cumberland County, and Atlantic County have gone for Bush and Reagan in the past two elections. Uh, Cape May and Cumberland for the most part, or Cape May and Atlantic mm -hmm. uh, rather heavily especially, so it'll be interesting to see how the numbers come in and how that affects many of the local races. Uh, big turnout too. Uh, Lori Mooney, who is running for an office, running for her city clerk's office, or county clerk's office, uh, reported that uh, in Atlantic County, 75 to 80 percent voter turnout today, which mm. is uh, unbelievable. I have not seen anything like that personally since uh, back in 1987 up in Philadelphia. The Frank uh, Rizzo Wilson good. You had good weather and everyone came out to vote. And that's what we had today. We had a... You, excuse me. You mentioned earlier about, you said the fact that uh, usually when a lot of people turn out, that means that they are interested in change. Yeah, and the apparently change in their that mind, is... Yeah. That's the message that's being set out tonight. Whether that change will follow through congressionally here in New Jersey, down in South Jersey in the 2nd District, is yet to be seen. Chris Tynan is uh, at a very hopeful Lobiondo headquarters in Vineland, and uh, the votes have not been tallied yet, but uh, she says they are optimistic, and she filed this report. 